trusting and supportive, but also challenging culture, I believe is the key to any success. If you're not quite on board with this yet, that's entirely your right, but if you've also got high staff turnover, low engagement, people not really caring, you need to go back and ask yourself, is this me? Have I got the culture right? I think company culture is a tricky one for people, for business owners to understand. I think intuitively they all know they should have a good culture, but most people have no idea how to create or maintain that culture. And what I sometimes hear people saying is, oh yeah, I've asked so-and-so to create the culture in the business. And, and that doesn't work. It has to come from the business owner. They have to create it, they have to maintain it, they have to own it and capture it themselves. So it's crucial. For me, getting the right culture drives success in both profitability, in growth, and personal growth of the team. And that is the fundamentals of, of Composite Profiles. Composite Profiles is a specialist subcontractor in the construction industry. We specialise in structural floor and roof decking on typically commercial and industrial buildings. From when I took over as Managing Director, we've grown from a team of around about five to around about 25, and in terms of turnover, we've increased about three to four times. One of the biggest drivers of, of the growth, both in turnover and people, has been the, the approach that we take to culture. A lot of the culture that we, we set off from starts on an, on an annual day. Building excellence is our strap line, so we refer to it as our Building Excellence Day. Run by me, the whole team's involved, and it will usually have a focus, uh, it might be time management, and we'll go and do some, some activities and some planning to get people working together, often with different parts of the business working together. Last year, our theme was, was back to basics. The underlying message was about focusing on the the, the basics within the business, getting those basics right and improving those basics by little 1% gains here and there to really start to nailing the overall profitability and success of the business. As the business grew in terms of numbers of, of people employed, one of the things that we're really keen to do is to pass down roles and responsibilities to other people, empowering them to take, to take their own decisions. One of the big things we did there was we created champion roles so that uh, an individual in the team will look after one area. One of the roles we have is a health and wellbeing champion, somebody that looks out for the best examples of, of wellbeing across the UK and across the globe and tries to see how those things can be adapted within our own workspace and organisation. Having the right culture works completely in tandem with safety. By showing that you care, showing that you trust people to do the work that you've trained them to do, also adds to our, our safety side of things. We have an excellent safety record and long may that continue. One of the things we do in the business is a big focus on recognition and reward. Our recognition and reward scheme is called Power of You, and that will mean that anybody can nominate anybody. It's at its basic level, it's just a little bit more than a thank you. And we have got a thank you culture anyway. Starts off with a basic postcard. We've supplied everybody in the business with a, with a pad of postcards that they can very, very simply fill in to say, dear John, thanks for helping me out with X yesterday and, and who it's signed from. One of the things we introduced in the last couple of years was we do a Monday morning mile. And at quarter past nine, the whole office team will down tools and we walk around, uh, effectively around the block for probably about 20 minutes or so. And it's a great time for people in different departments to interact with each other. And that is working really, really successfully. What I found in organisations is people are most keen when they start. So to capture that enthusiasm at the front end of their time with you is absolutely key. As a couple of small examples, we present everybody with a welcome pack on their desks when they arrive. And we also, in the early days, will all go out for a, a welcome meal. I see lots of examples of leaving dues, but I've, I've not seen many examples of welcome dues. And you typically get to know people out of the office, in a social environment, and then you're more willing to help people. As a business, we've been following the Investors in People framework for a number of years and earlier this year we actually achieved IIP Platinum which is the highest level that they can hand out. 
Very few companies, around about 80 in the UK, have achieved IOP Platinum and so we're hugely delighted and it was a real achievement for the company and also I took personal satisfaction that we were on the right pathway to creating a great organisation, great culture and really drive things forward. So I first met Mark, I think it was four years ago. It's been a really interesting client. I've watched the business grow substantially during that time and culture for that business is incredibly important, as it actually is for every business. But Mark has learnt to really embrace culture as part of their ethos, what they're all about. One of my personal passions and loves is developing the team, developing any members of the team, to see them start to improve and drive themselves with any form of learning and development to see them push themselves in not just their own business role, but their personal life as well. And then the, the holy grail is for me is when I see those individuals start disseminating that culture out to other people in the business. To see them not just looking for training and learning for themselves, but looking for it for other people and, and coming up with ideas. That's where I feel I've really completed my journey.